Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you all would like to see how I got this super cute low sleek ponytail with the super sleek hair, the bomb baby hairs, and the super defined curls, then just keep watching this video. I'm gonna show y'all exactly how I achieved it, so keep watching. Okay, y'all, so my hair is freshly washed, conditioned, and deconditioned. Uh, it was in my microfiber towel, and this is what it looks like once I take it down. But I'm just going to hop on right into this, and since I'm doing a low sleep ponytail, the first thing I want to do is get this part right. I really wanted a middle part this time. I just thought that would look super sleek and clean, so here you just see me perfecting that middle part. And once that's done, I'm just going to go ahead and jump right on into the detangling process. So first things first is spritzing my hair with water. And I'm going to go in and detangle. I'm going to go in with my brush here first, but that was just taking too long and it was too tedious. So I just went in straight with my wide tooth comb and just got it detangled. And since I started off with clean, detangled, and conditioned hair, it wasn't hard to detangle at all. So to moisturize the base of my hair before I apply any gel, I'm going to use this Quenching Coconut Curls Conditioner by OGX. And I'm going to use a nice amount of it and work it in thoroughly throughout my hair, being very generous. Because this is a lighter weight conditioner, but it's super moisturizing, so yeah. So once I have that worked all the way through, I'm going to go in with my Evolve brush and start brushing my hair back before I apply any gel, before I use my hard bristle brush. It's just easier to go in with this, so that's what I'm doing first. Now y'all have seen this on my channel a whole lot. I love this Gorilla Snot Gel to sleek any sleek style down because it has such a strong hold and it lasts a while so as you see i'm applying a nice amount of that onto my hair making sure to get it nice and smooth and then i'm going to go in with my hard bristle brush and start sleeking it down like between the hard bristle brush the gel and what i use later which i will show y'all it's going to have your hair balm it had my hair balm so yeah just working that through making sure my hair is nice and smooth Once I'm satisfied with how smooth I got it, I'm going to go in with my ponytail holders and just put that on uh, and I wrap it around as many times as it would go, uh, maybe up to four times, uh, but I made sure I got it nice and tight. So how I got my defined curls in the back. I treated the back of my hair just like a wash and go pretty much. So I detangled my hair first with my Evolve brush. And then I go in with my moisturizing product, uh, which was the Quenching Coconut Curls um, Conditioner by OGX. And I just applied a nice amount of that all throughout my hair and made sure to work that in. Next product is what define my curls well. It's the it's the Rose Curlastic Brulee uh, by Grovita Hair Solutions, and I just worked that in thoroughly and just made sure I got every strand. Mm -hmm. 
to really secure that definition i went in with my evolve brush to get the product all the way through and to define my curls and i uh i did that in two sections because y'all know my hair is kind of thin <laughs> but now i'm going to go in to, with my baby hairs and i'm using the gorilla's not gel to lay them now when i tell y'all this gorilla's not gel has so much hold it was a little hard for me to get my edges out of this ponytail because it was already starting to set but i do a swoop motion i go down put my finger on it and kind of hold it in place and go back and i do that on all of my sections i only showed y'all this side of my edges and i'm going to show y'all how i did the middle but i'm just going to be quiet and let y'all watch me do it because it's easier to look and see than it is for me to explain Y'all know I like to go in with just a little extra gel and apply that on each little swoop just to make sure it really stays in place. Right here, you just see me going in with a little bit of Gorilla's Knot just to set it in place to make sure I got every flyaway down. But what you're about to see me do is what changes the game and gives you longevity with this style. Pump it up, spritz, spritz, spray. And I just spray that all over my hair, y'all. This made my hair stay in place for days. But as you can see right here, this is what I'm looking like right after spritzing that on my hair. My hair looks very shiny because it's about to get nice and hard, y'all. But as you can see, it's nice and sleek. The curls look good in the back. And to make sure this style really lasts, I'm going to go in with my scarf and uh, just wrap my hair up nice and good. And I'm going to allow my hair to be wrapped up for at least an hour. I'm going to give it an hour to really set in place. And yeah, so I will be back later so you can see the final, final results. this is my hair hours later y'all so that pump it up spritz spray i ain't got a single flyaway as y'all can see but the curls look good the ponytail looks good the curl the color looks amazing i love this look y'all okay y'all so that is the final look of this super cute low sleek ponytail i will tell y'all my most favorite thing about this style is first off how hot now i don't want to say hard because that sounds bad but it's in place like it is almost eight o'clock at night y'all can see it's dark outside it's almost eight o'clock at night and i did my hair literally around noon i took my scarf off like it won something so it's hours later and i still don't have a single fly away like my hair is in place it's nice it's firm and i like that so much between the gorilla snot gel and the pump it up spritz it got your girl nice and right my second favorite thing about this style is i think the middle the middle part is super cute and it's cuter than usual because I did an extra little swoop right here. So I really, really like 
these swoops. It's four swoops on each side, and I never had that. I always get the two swoops, two, no, three, three, and then the one in the middle. But I decided to do a little something different today. Switch it up. I thought it would be super cute. It didn't come out how I thought, but it came out super pretty. And I love it. And my color in this style, it just looks really freaking good. So, yeah. I like it. And since it's so firm, I'm going to wrap it up to my, tonight. This ought to last me four days easily without being retouched. Like, honestly so if you enjoy this style and you enjoy this video please make sure to give me a big thumbs up comment down below anything you want comment the next style you want me to do with my red hair i will definitely do it i share this video with a friend or a cousin or a sister or whatever you want to whatever share it with somebody help your girl out and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already today as i'm recording this i have 256 subscribers and i'm getting closer and closer to 300 every day so thank y'all so much if you have subscribed and please subscribe if you have not and yeah i want to see y'all in my next video bye